Thank you for staying with us on the newsroom. Abidemi Rufai, the suspended aide of Ogun State uh, Governor Dakwa Biodun, has pleaded guilty in a U.S. district court in Tacoma to wire off responsible for wire fraud and aggravated identity theft. In a statement on Tuesday, the U.S. Department of Justice said Rufai admitted using stolen identities to receive thousands of dollars in pandemic-related unemployment benefits. Rufai was also said to have submitted fraudulent pandemic unemployment claims in at least 17 other states, including Hawaii and Wyoming. The suspended aide was arrested at New York JFK Airport on his way to Nigeria in May 2021. Some senior officials of the Ministry of Justice have been questioned by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, over suspicion of corruption in the compilation of presidential pardon list. Based on the recommendation of the Presidential Prerogative of Mercy Committee, Buhari submitted names of 162 persons to the Council for advice. According to an official, the inclusion of banker Francis Atuche, who was convicted of 25.7 billion naira fraud and sentenced to 12 years imprisonment on the submitted list to the Council is of particular interest. When the name was presented to the council, it was rejected supposedly because he had just been convicted and was yet to serve one full year. President Mohamed Dubari has said the persistent social conflicts in most countries of West Africa are negatively affecting the sub-region's capacity to achieve integration, which he said was the major goal of forming the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS. The president, who was represented by the Vice President Yemi Oshimbaju at the 4th Plenary Assembly of Reunion of Episcopal Conference of West African RECOA, holding at the ECOA Secretariat in Abuja, said the spate of conflict and violence around the country's borders put considerable pressure on the ability of the affected countries to drive their political and economic activities. Taiwan says it was cutting, or rather it is cutting the 10 COVID-19 mandatory quarantine for all arrivals to 7. This move is part of the country's latest relaxation of the rules to try to live with the COVID-19 pandemic and resume normal life even as the number of domestic infections spike. All arrivals will still have to take PCR tests upon reaching Taiwan and on the seventh day of quarantine will be released as long as they are negative from a rapid test. In business, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has approved the sum of 2 billion naira to the Imo state government for the empowerment of artisans in the state. Commissioner for Labor and Productivity, Ford Ozumba, disclosed this to newsmen on Tuesday in Oweri at the Imo 2022 Entrepreneurial Product Expo in partnership with the CBN. The commissioner explained that the project was conceived to expose artisans of the state to trade and engage the youth into productive sectors to contribute in the efforts to improve the economy of the state. The first head of state of an independent Belarus, Stanislav Shushkevich, who with the leaders of Russia and Ukraine signed a decree of dissolving the Soviet Union, has died of complications from coronavirus aged 87. As chairman of the Belarus Supreme Soviet, Shushkevich, along with Russian leader Boris Yeltsin and Ukrainian lead leader Leonid Kravchuk, signed the 1991 declaration that dissolved the Soviet Union. Shushkevich led Belarus from independence until he was defeated in a 1994 election by Lukashenko becoming a permanent member of the opposition. In sports, Nigeria's Quadria Runa has become the first African and black player to be ranked into the top 10 in World Table Tennis Ranking. According to the latest 2022 ICTF Table Tennis World Ranking, the number one player in Africa is now ranked 10th in the world. The World Table Tennis WTT also released a statement saying it has been a long time coming as the King of Africa has finally made it into the top 10 in the world. Also, Egypt's Omar Assar returned to the top 18 in the world ranking after the African champion gained eight steps up in the rating. That's all on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Simisola Adibon.